What exactly could be living in our sewers? This is All Things Creepy, and let's begin. In North Carolina, routine inspections of pipes by sanitation workers revealed some unsettling footage. Utilising a camera, they surveyed the area through the pipes, and it didn't take long for them to notice a bizarre phenomenon. What appeared to be strange fleshy sacks were pulsing, glued to the wall, and there were multiple of these. Now, I don't know about you, but when I see this, I instantly think egg sacks, similar to science fiction horror movies such as Alien. Pretty freaky stuff. Fortunately, there is a biological explanation for this. Marine biologists pointed out that this is a cluster of tubifex worms, and they're behaving in this way because there's simply no soil for them to feed on. Perhaps this is some sort of survival or last resort defense mechanism. Now, when one of the tubifex worms moves, it sets off an instinctive reaction amongst all of them, which is why we have that pulsating movement. So unfortunately, these aren't the egg sacs of some subterranean sewer-dwelling monster. They're just a collection of equally quite disgusting worms. Next, we have an alligator living in someone's sewer. Let's take a look at the footage. I now have an alligator in my sewer. Just when you thought you'd seen everything. As you can see there, in my opinion, this is a genuine alligator. This is presumably in Florida, and the creature as we all know, alligators like to hide. They regulate the temperature based on sunlight, so if they're a bit too hot, they'll often cower away, and a sewer is a perfect tunnel for them to hide in. Now, alligators are also extremely territorial, so if someone starts poking around their hiding spot, they're very likely to start hissing. So all of this does add up. The glowing eyes are particularly creepy, however, I believe they are due to the reflection from the, from the camera, from the light that the camera gives off, and of course the alligator is in a dark place, so that always creates that contrast. I've seen people suggest that this is fake and that this is some sort of puppet, now that is a possibility, however, I have no real indications of that. The alligator doesn't move very much, but then again, they generally don't. Um, if it's hissing at you, it's being lazy. It doesn't want to have to attack you. It's warning you, it's saying back off. Now, if he got any closer, maybe it would have moved. Maybe it would have snapped at him or retreated a bit more aggressively into the sewer. But in my opinion, this is, this is a very real phenomenon. Alligators are all over the place in that part of North America. So in my opinion, there's no controversy in saying that this is most likely genuine. Next we have some more sewer footage, once again from an official water utilities company, United Utilities. They posted this video, um, I believe it's over 10 years ago now this was posted. Take a look for yourself. So the remotely controlled camera is being used to survey the sewers and they come across something unusual, what appears to be a creature with at least two limbs, potentially a humanoid stance, and it peeks out and then immediately 
rushes back as soon as the camera approaches. So what could this be? Now, logical answers, of course, it could be CGI. That is a potential factor. Bear in mind back then CGI was definitely nowhere near as good as it is now and not as openly accessible um, outside of sort of high-end movie productions. However, it is still a possibility. Then of course it could be a primate. Um, if someone's gotten an exotic small primate, for instance a capuchin, in those dark dingy conditions, it could come across in this way and it would also display the curiosities and general body plan that this creature has. Or of course it could be something else entirely, something unexplained. Of course the go-tos are some sort of cryptid, some sort of monster, or maybe even an alien. Now the direction I'm leaning towards is CGI. I think this is an example of very well done CGI using the environment to obscure any imperfections that might suggest that it isn't. And to be quite honest, there's nothing that overly stands out as CGI other than how strange it is, so I'm entirely open to other possibilities. It's just my opinion, my gut feeling, I'm leaning towards computer-generated imaging. Let me know what you guys think in the comments for that one, because I'm quite conflicted on it. The biggest argument against it being CGI is that the company that's produced it is quite reputable. I had a look through some of their other videos, and it's extremely mundane stuff about water discoloration and how to check your pH levels in your tap water and things like that. So it seems like this is the last sort of people who would hoax something like this. But you never know, publicity stunts are a real thing. From this same company, released at about the same time, there are several other sewer exploration footages released on their channel that show, once again, some sort of strange creature, this time usually darting from one side of the sewer to the other, um, at some sort of crossroads, if you will, where the pipes intersect. Take a look at these for yourself. So as we can see there, something very nimble quickly moves across from one side of the pipe to the other and from our perspective we can only just barely see it. It does appear to have a tail and it's realistically quite a small creature. I've seen some people suggest this could be some sort of Bigfoot or Sasquatch which I think is ridiculous considering this is, this is in England. They've, they've not been primates in England for ages, not, not counting humans, of course. And the sewers aren't exactly that big, and this creature doesn't even seem that big, considering that fact as well. So, in my opinion, if this is an animal, it's likely not a cryptid, it's probably some sort of rat. Um, now, why a rat would be moving like this? Rats are, yes, quadrupedal, they usually shuffle around on all fours, but they do jump sometimes when they're startled or perhaps trying to overcome an obstacle, they can jump and they're quite agile at it. We also have to consider that these rats would have been living in the sewers for their entire lifetime. So they'll know how to move around best. And maybe they know that jumping that particular location is the best way to get from point A to point B. Now, of course, the other explanation is once again, that this is all CGI. Now, I would, of course, lean towards that. The only glaring issue, as usual, is that this is a reputable company. This is a, a company that provides water utility services across the UK. I highly doubt they would stage a hoax like this. It seems very bizarre for a company in that position to do that. The detrimental consequences could be great. However, like I said before, it stirs up controversy, it gets attention on them. But then in this case, what do they actually have to gain from that? It's not like people are going to pay for their services more because they've seen a sewer creature in the sewers. That doesn't really make sense. Um, it will get some views on their page, I suppose, but realistically, the business they're in is providing water utility services, so it seems bizarre, it seems far-fetched, 
but you never know. Let me know what you think in the comments. So there you have three creepy sewer creature sightings, somewhat explained. The United Utilities monster is definitely the biggest mystery for me. Let me know what you think in the comments below though. I'd love to strike up a discussion about that one because nobody's come forward to this day and claimed it was a hoax. It very much is still a mystery. I think one of the biggest arguments for the CGI is that the eyes of the creature don't reflect in the water. But then again, it's extremely hard to gauge depth perception and, and things like that. Bear in mind this is a, a camera, a remotely controlled camera, not the best quality and it's ex in extremely dark and dank conditions. So it's a tricky one. Like the video if you did, share it with a friend, and of course, if you haven't already, subscribe for more creepy content.